like she did. Okay. So she and her daughter could have lived here? Yep. Are they are they coming now? Yes, it's the last one. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, huh. so they're showing you an apartment? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, if they. Okay. Don't yep. right, yeah, just go right, in the front no, and see if they're there. Don't drive that way because that's a one-way street. Okay. okay. <clears throat> yep. Sounds like she's from Jamaica. Yep. All right, so we got to go to uh, Fox Community. Right, because I got this. And then after that. Then we go wherever you want to go. Yeah. I'm just going to. Oh, shoot, I forgot those DVDs. Go back and get them. I'm going to. I completely forgot about that. We're only a block. We're not even a block. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've noticed that. That is a huge building. Let me get in there and go take care of this. I, I gotta go get those those two DVDs and that one video game. Because if I don't get that, then I'm not gonna be able to get rid of that. Because I don't think they're gonna sell it otherwise. I'll be right back. Tell her she may be running late. Yeah. running late oh that's my note <laughs> I'm apartment two I'm apartment two we we have a problem with porch pirates yeah so I put that note up there for for the delivery men so they don't leave the packages on the steps. I, I'm the oldest. I've, I've lived here longer than any tenant. I've been here four years. It's a pretty quiet building. Is it just you or... Are you the only one who would be moving in? Yeah, it's a quiet building. You don't want to move in that building. That building's... No, you don't want to move there. <laughs> Did you give her a call? She might be running a little late. Alright. Completely forgot about those.
Sorry about that. I oh, that's completely, right. completely forgot about it. As soon as I got out, I was like, okay, great, I can leave the house. Yeah, these are the two that I need to resurface. Oh, I have that one. I have that one. Yeah, and then this is the game. Do you have a Xbox? Yep. I, I don't. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's the... And that's the game that I need to buy because... Or get rid of. Because I already have. You have a habit duplicate of it? Yeah. I have never gotten into Xbox or anything like that because a lot of them are first shooter games and I don't like... Oh no, this one is uh, medieval. Is it about um, killing people and... It's, it's protecting your, your, uh... Yeah, but you don't have to kill anything. No, you get to kill zombies, not zombies, but, uh, orcs and oh, evil uh, dark, dark <laughs> stuff. I, 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 I mean, I, I myself, I just like the storyline. So... I, I don't like anything games with killing in it. Oh, there's other games that are in there that are not killing. That's the reason why I play the one, that little simulation game, because I don't have to kill anything. Right. Right. There's other ones out there that, I mean, you could, you could buy, like, Sim Cities and stuff like that. I mean, I got, I got stuff, uh, I got Sims uh, in mind. And, uh, that, all that that is, is, um, uh, you're pretty much just building a house and oh. getting to know uh, different people in your group? yeah in your group of people and this and that. And, I mean, yeah, I tried that once. I didn't like it because uh, some of the players got personal. Oh, yeah. This isn't a live stream or anything like that. This is all just regular. Um, they used to have one on um, Coco.com called uh, Try Try Sit uh, Try Something, and okay. uh, it was like it was kind of like Tetra. Oh, or Tetris. Yeah. Right, but it was like you were building a mountain, and you had to get to in the higher you built it, but the pieces were random. <laughs> and you only had so much time. And oh. uh, Tri Peak, that's what it was. Oh, Tri Peak. Okay, I've heard of that, yeah. Yeah, but they, Pogo, got rid of it. Huh. Yeah, I've never played it. I just, I've heard of it. Yeah. And, and you've got, you've got, it had different levels and things. They just announced one day that they were no longer going to carry the game. This is like Farmville 2. I used to play that. Yeah, I heard that they, they canceled that one too. Actually, what they did, I know people who are on Facebook are still, but they must be subscribing to it. Oh, okay. But I didn't want to pay $19 right. a month to subscribe to it. Right, I don't blame you. And, things. and I said, no, I'm not, not doing that. So if you, they only, but what they did is the company that, that did it, Yeah. they expanded too quick and things, and they laid, I was Googling why it wasn't, and uh, they tried to go to a different type than Java. Oh. And my computer won't handle can't handle the program. Yeah, you did tell me about that. About and, what was and, that? And they laid ago? off half of their staff. Yeah, about a few years ago, you told me yeah. about that. Yeah, about four, four or five years ago. Yeah, yeah it's about five years ago because it happened right, right as I was moving and, and things. And I said I'm not paying that much. I mean, if it was a couple of dollars, like dollar nine. Sure. Mm -hmm. But I'm not paying almost 20 bucks time you add in tax and stuff. No, it's not worth it. 
but even the game I'm playing now, you can subscribe to it. Right. And uh, I said, I'm not paying my games. I do subscribe. But with your prescription, you've got so much energy, you've got so much emeralds and stuff like that. I said, right. ah, I, I don't need that. I spend too much time playing the game anyway. <laughs> You know, I haven't played the uh, Dragon Age for almost a month. Almost a month I haven't played it yet. It's, it, it, it's very addicting. Oh yeah, well that's that's why I haven't played mine in that long. Because once I get started, it's like I'm up for hours just oh, yeah. playing the damn thing. And it's... There was one time where I was playing it, and all three of the cats were just like trying to go nuts because they, you know, they I, I wasn't spending time with them. Today I, today I, uh, yeah, Sox is mad at me because it's been too much time playing the game and not paying attention to him. Yeah, I, um, I ended up, uh, Keeping, I ended up keeping uh, my TV on for an hour, so they're not gonna get all freaked out and everything. Because it's it's quiet in my house. Do you have a VCR? No, I got a DVD player. Oh, a DVD. You yeah, have I got a DVD. You know what? If I knew how to make a copy of it, I'd make a copy of the DVD and give it to you because you it has all kinds of fish and rats and, and all oh, kinds of things. Yeah, yeah, the it's a little pretty bit. Yeah, I I got the that YouTube thing that they go off of and they enjoy it. Well mine you can loop it so it uh, Sox has his own D V D player. <laughs> He has his own. He has his own TV, <laughs> but it's a tube TV because he likes to get it. Yep. So I got a. Mm -hmm. It's a CRT screen. Oh. So okay. so he can't uh, because if you those those flat screens they don't like to be. Right. And, and, and socks will hit it really hard. It's his, I, I don't have any place to put it in the apartment. I guess I could put it in the bedroom, but then he would sit there and watch it all the time. <laughs> but it's got birds and fish little black shapes like roaches. Oh, okay. Goldfish. Hi, can I get $50? Okay, thank you. It was going to take a bus. <laughs> where where is this GameStop? Is it on the west side? Free play is over on in Nashville. Oh, um, off the over Oneida. way. Oneida. Uh -oh. Is yeah, that too far for you? No. no. Okay. I'm just glad to get out of the house. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm kind of going uh, stir crazy. Stir crazy. It's good for me to get out. The 
is this some weird weather we're having? According to what they said, because we had such a hot summer Take care of that, and then I was going to go down to the west side, Ashwa, uh, Walmart. Okay. They always have better selection. Oh, never really know. Best Walmart is trying to be rude towards them or nothing like that, but they, sometimes they're, they, they can just be snobs. Yes, they can. So can people who live over there for Schwaben and high school. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. warm in here? No. Okay. Why do you think we're divorced? <laughs> precipitate. 
I wonder how many fans are actually now my husband, ex husband, says he's a Packer fan. He's not. He's a Detroit Lions fan. Because the Lions and the Packers were playing and the Lions got ahead. And he was rooting for him, and he didn't see me in the kitchen because mm. I came down back stairs and I opened the door, and he was jumping up and down, cheering for the lions. <laughs> so he's a secret lions fan, but he always tells everybody he's a Packer fan. Mm. I can see when the Packers and lion in, and it's a little hard. He's jumping up and down. Nice, <laughs> but he's not going to show it. IBM had uh, a meeting here, and they were kind of late for the meeting, so they got there at the last minute, and um, he said, everybody look under your chair, because there's envelopes under each chair, and said, if you get the right one, get an autograph football from the Green Bay Packers. Hmm. Guess what? He has an autograph football from the Green Bay Packers. Cool. And guess where he keeps it? Yeah, no. In the living room. It's <laughs> on a bookcase and he has this little old, little old mouth that he down for the display your foot mouse. Yeah. He was really proud <laughs> that he won that foot mm. Nice. But my son is a Dallas Cowboy fan. <laughs> His wife is a Packer fan. <laughs> And my grandsons are Packer fans. We're rooting for Mama's team. <laughs> well, why not? My daughter could care less about the ball. She does not like the ball. I honestly just don't care about it either myself. I, I watch it from time to time, but I don't. I don't. I'm not as. Since I moved to Green Bay, because I get to see so few games, I'm just when I see it, I root for them. If I can't root for them, and if I can see a Saints game, I'll root for the Saints. Right. The Saints are so pathetic. <laughs> One game in all the years. <laughs> One Super Bowl. Yeah. Sure, there's teams who never won the Super Bowl. Uh, I don't know. Really, don't pay attention that often. So I couldn't tell you. I think my son likes soccer better. Well, I keep tabs on the European football. Oh. And I get I get scores all the time. Really? Yeah. I just never got in. I guess because I grew up in Texas and football was always a big draw on Friday night. But uh, I never want to go to San Marcos again. <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, I always keep tabs on uh, Manchester and United. Well, what happened, we, San Marcos played us the first year, then we went down there, and um, one of my, she was a, a grade ahead of me, mm -hmm. she went, she witnessed a triple homicide. Okay, cream colored uniforms with red flames on it, she came back, there was blood all over her uniform. Not cool. No, she had to go and testify too. Well, 
one guy went to prison for life because uh, there was four people involved. Three of them died at the scene, and one guy, one guy went to prison for the rest of his life. She, I don't think she, she used to be very bubbly. Mm -hmm. Personality, right? Because she doesn't think she got very, very quiet. Hmm. She didn't come to school for a whole week. Thank God our family, our fam my, my doctor travels with the team. Right. And he had to sit in her. That's not good. And guess what? I'm the only one who didn't see anything. You know why? Mm. It was after halftime and they were all going to the concession stand. And uh, my uh, pep squad teacher, she says, I said, I don't want to go. I don't, I, I, I just gave my girlfriend some money to give me something. I said, I don't want to go. I, you know, and I said, everybody's taller than me. And I kind of, you know, it was a very big crowd. I said, and they asked me to stay and watch the instruments, right. the pom poms, and I stayed there. And everybody comes running porch, the, the band and everything, but Nancy was right there when it happened. And they, some of the other girls weren't quite, but she's the one who got ready. We actually got shot at. Miss my cousin by that much. Because he was sitting, he was on the football team, and we did not even, the boys usually dress in their street clothes. He says, the, the coaches and the sis, when the whistle blows, head for the bus, get on the buses, don't break, have everything, don't leave anything behind. The band was loaded five minutes <coughs> before the whistle went off, and they were all in. Like, so all the pep squad football players, all we had to do was <coughs> get on the bus. <coughs> and we got a police escort out of town. And we've never played that game since. You all right? No, I just got to Marcus had this thing called job fair where they train people to do stuff, said Marcus. And they went from a uh, 2A school to 4A school within a year. So they're, they're not in our division anymore. <laughs> that place gets bigger and bigger every year. Lambo? Yeah. Yeah, they they're doing some kind of work on it. I'm not sure exactly what they're doing, but they're doing something on it. I think they'll only close it one day. Oh no. No, they, they said that they were going to do it, but then uh, the committee... We told it? Yeah, pretty much just told them no. Because it wouldn't be called the uh, Frozen Tundra if it wasn't, if they are having a close. Well, maybe they could put some kind of... Maybe. 
but not enclose it, just right. cover, but it would still be enclosed. Right. Maybe it would have to be something like a wind, wind sail. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know how they would do something like that, but... Maybe, maybe they'll come out with, uh, if they ever get the technology, some kind of shield. <laughs> right. They go to Star Trek. <laughs> yeah. Did you know they say space travel like Star Trek is possible? Mm. With the technology that we have today. Yeah, I don't even really pay attention to that stuff. My son is a big Star Wars, Star Trek. Yeah. How would you say, super fan? <laughs> so he's a geek. Mm -hmm. Oh, my son's always that geek. Let's put it this way. On those national tests they make you take in school, mm -hmm. my son is in the top 5% of the United States. <laughs> so he's smart. <laughs> yeah. He is super smart. Over here, and she bought her boyfriend a whole bunch of DVDs. Oh, let me go see here. I need my ID, which I'm not exactly sure where I put it in my purse. Are you just gonna go in and style those? And I'm gonna, them? well, I'm gonna go resurface those two, okay. and then after that, then I'll be selling that one. I'll go in for a few minutes and see if they got anything. I gotta find my ID first. Okay. I have watched that. If I, there's nothing on TV. And I want to watch a feel-good movie. I watch that movie. Hmm. I'd like to think that there really is a tribe that hasn't been touched by humans, by right. being corrupted. Anyway, I'm on the Indian side. <laughs> People say, why are you on the Indian side? because we stole the land from them. Right. And I said, they have a right. And I said, even of all the people in this country, the United States, the Indians are still looked down. So it's not fair. And everybody says, well, what do you think about casinos? I said, it's the Indians revenge against the white man. <laughs> yeah, I would say so, yeah. But, uh, the party that uh, that my daughter's the, the association is throwing tomorrow mm -hmm. is at the casino. Oh, is it? Right. And you think this, this one is big? He says, you ain't seen nothing until you go to the one outside of Lansing. Uh -huh. He said, it's Las Vegas style. Yeah, I got lucky on this one. And I said, well, I said, I don't, I used to go to Bingo um, in October because 
every Saturday is five dollar. The morning session is five dollars. Mm -hmm. And I said I go, and I said I'm I've gone for many many years, and I said uh, when COVID hit, I just stopped going because um, well they stopped having it. Right. And right. For a while, and I said uh, I go. I never win. <laughs> It's five dollars, and it's two and a half hours. And uh, I said, I don't know. I think if you won once in a while, mm -hmm. and things, it would be nice. But I said, I went for like seven years, and I never won. Right. And I said, eh, right. I'm going. But I would only go in October because that they're five dollars. So I just said, no, nah, I'm not going. I'm not going to waste the money. What the heck was that? It sounds like somebody's belt was looking. Yeah, it did sound like that. It's pretty loud. You can, you can tell it. It sounds like it got wet. Yeah. I'm not sure. I don't think it was your car. I no. Think, I think it was. No, no. It might. It would have been louder if it was my car. I think it was the car next to us. Like uh, right before uh, they quit, uh, they came up and uh, they and they rented one of those party houses for oh. a week. Okay. <laughs> They said it was pretty. Uh, they said when you're when it's off season, the rates are not too bad. No, no, it ain't. It's just when it's like Packer season and every all the other seasons going on. You know the arena hotel over here, that little dumpy little strip yep. mall. Yep. Carrie's stepfather owns it. Really. <laughs> Actually, they built the hotel right next to it. Mm -hmm. Actually, built part of their parking lot on his land, so he gets a huge amount of money from them. Wow! To you, because uh, when he went after it was done, uh, you look at him and said, "You built your parking lot on my property." <laughs> so they pay him. A huge amount of money to use it. Plus, he rents that uh, three hundred dollars per person, mm -hmm. and he says he can put six people in a room. Yeah. Yeah. And, he yeah. Said, and it's always full. Every home game, it's full. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> They sold their house in Swanico. Now they live in Swanico. Yeah, somebody managed it. <laughs> so Carrie's parents are not in my league. Right. not the kind of come out. Would you like to go out to come over? The kids are here. Would you come like come over and have dinner or something like that? Mm. She's not that dumb. A little bit sweet. Like you say Snobby. people in Dupier are bougie. Yeah. They're bougie. They're worse than bougie. So kind of rich Snobby. Yeah, so they're so they they're being up to since Snobby. Yep. I think I'm a little too country for her. Because I don't think she's really ever known since she married him. She's never known what it is like to 
Three, four. Don't worry about it. I got it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just a little PTSD. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I was looking at this car trying to figure out what it was doing and not realizing that they were jamming on their brakes too. You okay? Yeah, that's fine. That's okay. Nothing happened. No, no, God, no. I got good brakes and good reactions. Some of these people just, they... they Make up your mind which lane are you going to drive in. Yeah, some of these people just don't understand how to drive, and some people are just really... It's like they're in another world. Yes, exactly. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. All right. No I don't accidents. Want you... No, I just don't want you having a heart attack or anything. No, no. Hey, when I was a kid, I used to wake up screaming bloody murder from nightmares. My mother took me to a double feature car movie when I was about five, and right. my dad was in the hospital, and, uh, I gotta go over here for one second, though, okay? I, after that, I woke up screaming bloody murder for, what, years? My mother never, ever took me to a horror movie ever again, <laughs> until my cousin did. He took me to a double feature, Frankenstein and Dracula. Oh. The That's nightmares good. came back. <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna have to go over here. You gotta go do something to set that Uh, no, on the elf. Oh. I gotta get, uh, this is where I picked up, uh, Gigi's present. Oh. Pick it up. Hopefully. So, I'll be right back. Okay.
chicken. That should be a fun movie. Have you seen this one? Oh yeah. Yep, I have. Did you like it? Oh yeah. Okay, so I got the Tommy Hill figure for me. And the dragon's blood for my sister. Oh. Incense? Yeah. Oh. They love, she, she loves her incense. Oh. Okay. So, I was figuring. I have cherry incense. Oh. And I have another, some green ones that's supposed to smell like money. Mm. Okay. I don't think they smell like that. I wonder if I can actually uh you can go ahead. Oh no 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 I was gonna I was gonna do a detour for a second. Okay. If you don't mind. No, where do you need to go? Uh Gigi's. Where's that? It's my friend's place for her birthday. Oh. I was just gonna drop this stuff off to her. Uh, well, <laughs> kind of situation has turned up to be something completely different. It's a good place, but yeah, well, it's kind of what I made a move on the west side because I don't want to move on the west side. She says, one day. I said, all the bad weather happens on the west side. She said, yeah. And she said, I, I mean, I lived in Tardina Alley. <laughs> I do not want to go through that twice. Three times is enough. Mm -hmm. And she's never been through it. Anything but a blizzard. <laughs> oh, okay. Snow she can handle. <laughs> Eruption and a tsunami. And a meteor storm. <laughs> but my dad used to have this friend, and there was a meteor storm. So if you walk out on this property, you could find all these little meteors. They're about this big. And I said, he said, I said, what do you do with them? He said, I just leave them where they are. He said, God put them there for a reason. He says, I don't mess with them. He said, if there's a meteor there, it stays there. Right. But that was when I kid. I didn't know what happened to them after he died. But I remember he gave me one. It looked like a turd. <laughs> <laughs> I don't ever know what happened to it. Is she home? Hopefully she's home because then I can give it to her. Did 
leave it in her mailbox? Oh, no. Oh, oh I purposely want to hand it right to her. She got to work yet? No. no. She won't be at work until later on. She's the DJ. Oh. So, like, six or seven ish? Watch call Gigi. Do you want to call Gigi? Yes. Calling Gigi on cell. what I thought of mine too except for not my dad no. 
mother. My dad tried to control me. I think he finally figured out that he couldn't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I my, paid the price. <laughs> yeah, my mom found out the hard way. Seventy-four over here, but it's like two sixty-nine over where I usually go for my gas and everything. And that's on the west side. I mean, welcome to the west side. <laughs> yeah, it's like I can't believe that. I, you would think that it would be consistently the same everywhere you go. But you can go to two different sales stations, and the price be two different things. It, yeah, yeah, you're right. Get off your fucking phone when you're tripping. Bro, oh, really? Can we take our license plate and turn her in? <laughs> fucking idiots. I'm sorry. That's okay. I almost got hit by a car because the person was funny. She missed me by that much. I mean, you would think that, okay, you're turning a corner. You don't get on your phone. <laughs> or you have it like you do. Yeah. But maybe her car doesn't have that technology. Uh, well, I mean, that that's, that's, uh, well, I'm sorry to say it, but not anybody else's problem but hers. <laughs> yeah. Are you going into grocery or are you going into home living? Home living. Okay. I'm going to get closer to the home living place. Right. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's me.
never married. She was a very statuous lady mm. with dark black hair. I got my, uh, I got this chicken at, uh, the Piggly Wiggly and the pier. Um, I was over there with, uh, one of my friends. Your sister? Yeah. The, not, not Gigi. Oh. Um, Gigi's another sister. A sister from my community. Okay. Yeah, I got a lot of sisters. <laughs> That's fine. And, uh, no, uh, Wendy is her name. She's the one that had adopted me into the family, apparently. Um, but, uh, no, it's, I, I actually um, went over there with her because her car was, uh, kind of kaput. Well, it kind of kaput, yeah, but, I mean, it was, it was like a, uh, Not quite kaput, but getting yeah. her trouble. Well, the battery was dead off okay. of it, and it, it didn't hold a charge. So I, I said, hey, you know, I'm, I'm going to go down to a grocery store and I, I want to go to a different one. Um, you mind hanging out with me and going down to the Piggly Wiggly? She's like, great, I got to go down there anyways. <laughs> so when I, I see that. Like the dip I do like the Did you go out on the one on the Lime Hill or the one in the Pier? The Pier. Take a detour? No. I'm gonna go get more of that pea salad. Oh my god, is that great? Where'd you get that? Austin's. Oh. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Over in Alloway. Yeah, I know where it is. Yeah. I was gonna say, speaking of that, I'll, I want a pound of that. Because that would work good with uh, the chicken and the corn on the cob. I mean, it really would. Because, oh, yeah. because of my bread. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. I do not want to take any chance of breaking it. Oh, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't either. I don't blame well, it. Well, it's, it's, it has a steel plate. Yeah. And then it's porcelain over the top. Uh-huh. And to get that replaced,
of people that have weird sense of humor. I think it's fun. Yeah. I mean, I don't think anything about it. You know, I appreciate weird sense of humor. People say, do you like weird eggs? You know, actually, I I was talking to my other half, and uh, he goes off and tells me that because I asked him about uh, going and seeing the Blue Man Group. Oh, I would love to see them. Yeah. Well, I I asked him about it, and he goes and says, "Well, yeah, you're gonna have to wait until summertime." I'm like what? <laughs> Apparently. Blue Man Group don't play in the winter. And that's the only time they're going to be able to get into Milwaukee. <laughs> so I was just like, hey, all right. But we don't know what day it is because they wouldn't, they, they don't have a day set yet. But, oh my God. I will definitely go oh. see them when, uh, if, if I can on the day that, you know, whatever is, yeah, I mean, but that's only if I'm not working or if I don't have any other plans at the time. God, I would love to see Blue Man Group in person. Yeah. I see them on YouTube all the time. Yeah, I've seen them on TV, and they say, um, what, they were on some variety show. I, I'm not sure what, it, it wasn't the Carol Burnett show. I think it was... Very, uh, yeah, yeah, I know which one you're talking about. Right. Yeah. yeah, I don't go to concerts because um, I can't hear anything for three days. <laughs> yeah, that's normally how it is. And I've been to one concert, and that was the Beach Boys. I, I was practically deaf for two days, oh, I and believe we it. weren't sitting that close. I'm wondering when they're gonna freaking move that prison. They keep on saying they're going to, but then all of a sudden, then new um, articles they, come out. And, they can't decide where they want to put it. Yeah, I know. I know. It's like one the time. The people they, want. In, they want to put it out between here and Pulaski, but the people who own land there are saying no, 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 no. It's gonna. 
our property values are going to um, they said somewhere here between here and Denmark and the people there say no 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 yeah because the value of it is going to go down because it's a prison right well they need to find some place where there isn't a lot of housing and buy the land and not tell anybody yeah well that that's like I think that's the oldest freaking prison that we have the problem is that and still, instead of building one big prison they should build several smaller where the inmates could be housed more near where they're from that so, would be nice so the relatives could come and visit them if they have visiting privileges well and that's the thing is, is um, that would actually be more humane. Yeah, it would be humane, but then also then there would be less factors of any of the people violating the, their their parole or, or their the rules off of in their out uh, in the prison, simply because they they know that they can get visits from their family and friends. Right. It's just like Huntsville is way down in the south, and that is the biggest prison in Texas. But it is also where death row is. Yeah. And Texas executes more people than the rest of the states all together. I can believe it. Uh, kind of Texas is. We'd rather kill 99 innocent people than let one guilty go. <laughs> huh. That's pretty much a bad thing, you know. Yeah. Texas has been stuck. There was a guy, I was watching 60 Minutes, and there was a guy accused of doing a robbery. He had proof that he was at work. He's right. still convicted. When they found the guy because of DNA evidence 15 years later, the guy could have passed for his twin. Damn. They were stuck. Put them together, and they could pass as twins. That's how close. So he had a double ganger. I would they say did so. the robbery, and he sued Texas, and he made out like a man. Fifteen years in prison for a crime he didn't do. Well, I believe it. And he was black. And uh, guess what? Mm -hmm. The jury was all white. So. Okay. I, I pick up trivies and stuff like that. Yeah? I was watching 60 Minutes. <laughs> okay. I will be right back. Okay. I'm just going to go in there and go grab a... Uh... Can't go. <sighs> can't go a month without tortilla chips. No. No, you can't. It's like Pringles. If you eat one, you gotta eat the whole can. <laughs> oh, I still got chips at home. Uh, I got this guacamole flavored chips. But, um, I don't have any more to dip for it. I don't like guacamole. <laughs> really? No. Okra is a poor man's food. 
always in gumbo. Huh. Uh, a lot of uh, southerners like it. Uh, stewed okra is a acquired taste because it is. There's a trick to eating stewed okra. Mm -hmm. You pick it up by the nut.
she came back, treated her really bad, and she just decided, I'm not competing anymore. Hmm. She says, I'm not going to have people say that they're my friends, and I move away, and I'm 100 miles away, and then they, when I come back to compete against them, they treat me like crap. what you want is it it is very expensive for us and we do have to save and predict and I said if you don't want to compete that's fine I said if you just want to do it as a sports activity I said that's fine I said your father would probably prefer it